Agora TV. The world is thinking. What magnitude of resources are being allocated to revising the grid structure currently, and what sort of timeline is realistic for significantly hardening its defenses? Uh, let's talk about distributed generation uh, and what you do. There's a pretty simple uh, tool. It's called um, a, um, a clean, in, for a lot of uh, organizations, uh, and clean means clean local energy available now. The older term derived from the German is feed-in tariff, which nobody likes, but it's translated directly from the German and it sounds like it might be an import duty on animal feed or something. Uh, but what both of those mean is that the government will pass a law telling the utility that they have to give you, if you want to produce electricity at under 20 megawatts from renewables, they will give, see that you are given a 20-year contract to sell that to the electric grid. It's called wholesale distributed because you're selling it to the grid. It's not just going on your roof to reduce your electro own personal electrical bill. Uh, seems like it ought to be very expensive. I mean, my gosh, aren't these renewable systems extremely expensive? Well, they're getting cheaper all the time, especially solar, especially in sunny places. Uh, and um, today, at a cost for the, 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 the solar part of their feed in tariff in Germany, Germany has, uh, it costs about one, dot, one euro per month per family because you spread the cost C over all rate, rate payers, about one euro per month, and Germany has the skies that are the equivalent, essentially, of those over northern Alaska, not even southern Alaska, and Germany has 18 times per capita more solar than the United States. They, um, there's more solar on one building in downtown Munich, big building, two megawatts, than there is in the entire state of Texas. And the reason is the feed-in tariff. Utilities fight it. They fight it hard because each dollar of electricity that you're paid for having, let's say you got a farm, you got an acre worth of solar out there and you're making a few thousand dollars a year by, by shipping it to the utility and they have to take it because of the feed-in tariff law. The utilities don't like that. They'd rather build a big utility scale plant of some kind and keep the money themselves. So it's a pretty straightforward fight. So far there are two states in the United States Vermont and Hawaii and a few local uh, areas, uh, a few towns that have feed-in tariffs. But uh, since 40 countries have followed Germany, Spain did and, and kind of fouled it up and the people who don't like feed-in tariffs always point to Spain, but pretty much every place else has done it well. You have uh, 40 countries following Germany. You have uh, India, China, and Japan all in the process of adopting a feed-in tariff. Uh, Probably the United States will be one of the last, but it would be good if on local basis people started generating it because it does wonders in terms of increasing renewables and furthermore renewables under 20 megawatts so they fit into the distribution grid so they're distributed, they're not, they don't have anything to do with the transmission lines. 